Yes. Okay. How many snacks do I have? <laughs> Yogurt, a smoothie, two power bars, and a coffee. It's gonna be a long day. It's gonna be a long day. For the next 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be like shaking at the end of this. Uh, what's going on with the web series? <laughs> right now we're in negotiations with Kevin Hart's company. I don't know if you know, Kevin Hart has a new company called, um, a new network called LOL. And uh, uh, we won, Patrick Webb and I won the um, Kevin Hart Award. So we're developing a new project with Kevin Hart and his company. Nice. So a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So a and lot. We, wrote, uh, we wrote a sitcom called Wholly Unexpected um, about uh, an, an actress uh, giving birth, which I just did. So, you know, taking it from life. Um, and hopefully we'll do season two with Kevin Hart's. What a coincidence. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> just, just pulling it from life. It's hilarious. Giving birth is hilarious. <laughs> There's a lot they don't tell you. With good reason. <laughs> so, uh, how's it been coming back? Have they, have they made you do a lot of physical yes. things? Oh, yeah. To, uh... Sometimes I want to, like, I never pull the, I just had a baby card, but sometimes I'm like, you guys, I just had a baby <laughs> <laughs> And I'm running a lot. So, yeah, no, I, as soon as I had, um, maybe I just started working out like crazy. So, I'm ready. It's just like sometimes I'm like, a little more time. Well, I saw a big tackle recently. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That was nothing. And Patty and I, we both run like gazelles. So, we're also very competitive. So, and we're also both very fast. So, we had a chase scene where we're both chasing a perp. And I've never run so fast in my life. So, they'll see that coming up. So, do they not, not script who actually gets to tackle the person? They just let you two go for it? <laughs> who tackles the person? Oh man, Patty does. Yeah, Patty. <laughs> Patty and Leroy's get him. Uh, so what's coming up with your character? Uh, she My boyfriend's away. coming up. Their new boyfriend, Matt Miller. He's a ADA, uh, assistant district attorney. Um, Have we met him? No, 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 no. You haven't met him. You're about to meet him. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. It's funny because at first I thought maybe she made him up to like push out of a way. No, ma'am. <laughs> and then I saw Zach was cast. Yeah, I was like, he's real. Yeah, he's real. But we had to film like our really important scenes the first day. Almost all of our scenes the first day. So I called him up. I was like, I asked production for his phone number. And I called him. I was like, hey, could we have dinner tonight? <laughs> Just before we get like, before we get steamy. You want to meet? He's like, great. He's a nice guy. <laughs> That's good. That's funny. Who, who, who plays him? Zach Appleman. From Sleepy Hollow? Oh. Yeah. Okay. yeah. He's a nice guy. I liked him. How did, <laughs> how did Burgess's time away, how do you think it's affected her coming back to the job and, and putting her head down? And... Well, I, you know, I asked Rick when he, when he Rick became our new showrunner over the summer, like, how does the sister thing influence me? And, and he was like, it doesn't. We sort of just start the show running. But I do think it sort of influences me in terms of... I think I tr like Burgess's character and the way she deals with her. I think she trusts less. Mm. I think she's less gooey, I guess, is like, you know, and she's just, you know, the. I don't want her softness to go away completely, but it's dulling, I guess. And she's not like the, the new person on the team anymore either now with Upton coming in and Antonio coming back. So. Right. I am the new person. It, well, like, whenever I feel like I'm in the writer's room, they're like, who's going to screw up this episode? They're like, Burgess. Like, I constantly, every episode, I'm like, whoop, what wrong? So. But I feel like she sort of stands her ground. Well, ever since sort of the end of last season, she's really been more forceful. And sure. But if there's a mistake to be made, as you'll see coming up with Matt Miller, my boyfriend, I will make that mistake. <laughs> Like, when does Jesse make a mistake? Like, when does Halstead, like, be like, well, me a culpa? But Burgess is, like, constantly, whatever. I like it. I like that um, Atwater and Burgess, they still have that kind of partnership from back in the car, and now you supporting him through the family thing. Will we kind of see how that affects his character through the season with the kids being gone? Well, or? I think, I think what, uh, the only thing it should affect is him having a honey. Right? Because now the kids are away, the cat can go out and play. Like, I feel like him and Ruzik are going to, like, hit the town. That's a thing. Party That's an time. episode to say that. That would be fun. <laughs> and I think they would like that. I think they've been angling for it for a while. Yeah. So it's not like they've been subtle.
Talk about getting to 100 episodes. What's that like? I don't know. I well, there. when you get there, what's it feel like to know that it's coming? How's it feel the anticipation? Yeah. What episode are we on now? I don't know. I want it to be my episode. I mean, like the 100th episode featuring Kim Burgess not making any mistakes. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's great. It's a great sense of accomplishment. I mean, just to be renewed every year in this kind of like when there's so much great TV out there is awesome and feels great. So, I don't know. It feels good. I mean, it feels good to have a milestone. And it's difficult. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, yeah, it's difficult. So, yeah, it feels good. And I also have so much fun with my actors. It's like summer camp all the time. So I'm like, ah, oh, get to hang out with them more. It's just, it's fun. Right. Has being a mom changed how you approach anything? Or I have less time. <laughs> less sleep, uh, I'm sure. Yeah, less sleep. Um, like you're always like, is that worth a babysitter? Like you're like like a like a movie. You're like, is that worth twenty bucks an hour? I don't know. <laughs> so I like I value my time. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. So like you're like a movie is twenty dollars and then plus twenty. I, do I want to spend a hundred dollars on that movie? You know, it's just like, um, no, it's great. It's just uh, it's just managing your time. And I have a lot of help, which is nice. And it seems like you're. Uh castmates have been fun uncles and aunts. Oh yeah. It's been a couple a couple jams. Like one time I had like a 5 a.m. pickup and the my nanny doesn't come till 8, so I had to call Tori, who lives in my building, to like come upstairs and just watch a baby sleep for three hours. I was like, I owe you a bottle of wine. But I need you. And then one time I, I didn't have coverage so I had to like keep her on set. And Sabrina from Hair just like watched her and she didn't cry during my scenes. Like, it's been a bit, you know, it's great. Like, I, like a lot of working moms don't have that flexibility. They're like, I'm in a jam, I need to bring her to work. So, God bless, I have that. But it's, there's been some tricky moments. Right. Okay, yeah. Well, it's good that you're, yeah, it's good that you're able to do that. Yeah. Snack two. Has it, has it, um, <laughs> that episode with the kids? The, was that last? Is it week? the upcoming episode, or is, or is that, that the? No, that was last week's, right? Okay, where we'll where the the, we'll the woman sells her kid that she can't get along. Oh, with. that was last. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not there yet. She's pretty young for me not to get along with her. No, I'm not saying. Are you ready to do that? Yet? Oh, but, <laughs> to rehome. Yeah. You know, you know did, did did filming that after now that you're a mother sort of did you find a little more depth to your character's reaction to that? I guess. <laughs> um, no, I, that didn't, that didn't, I guess it was so f too far from like what I know. Right. It's more like when a child gets hurt, I like have a really hard time watching that and like seeing that kind of thing. Those are like, those are difficult for me. Those are, there was one episode of Justice where a woman had a baby and she turned around and the baby was dead. And I was like screaming. I was like, I was like turned into like a, a Medea. I was like, what is this? Why? I get like more emotional at that kind of thing. That was, that's something that like baby getting hurt. Those are hard for me now. All right, what else can you tease about this big screw up? Or just this big screw up? Well, it has to do with Matt Miller, my boyfriend. So and he's an ADA. It's pretty so. bad. <laughs> you know, as an actor, you're always like, what is it? How can I find the good in this? And I'm like, uh oh. I don't know that I can. Personal or professional? It's both. It's, it's a double whammy. It's a one-two. Oh. It's a one-two punch. 